here's the funny part. A lot of you guys are numbing out in the chest, pulling back because you got sadness in there, because you got some hurt in there. And instead of showing the hurt and getting over it, learning to get through it, you actually just numb out so that nobody can see because you don't want to feel vulnerable. And there's a sense that I'm heavier now, but I'm not controlled by it. And that's where I can grow and learn. And she says, hey, what's going on in your life? You can say, hey, I'm just a little sad right now. Something happened, but I can handle it. That makes you sexy as a man. So in this video, I want to talk about one of the key attractive qualities in a man. And literally, I'm writing an ebook right now all on this. I'm like, how to embody the embodiment aspects of the most attractive qualities in a man. And this, this is going to be a, a, an amazing ebook. And I think we're even going to do a little mini video course where we have deep discussions and demonstrations from all the coaches of each of these qualities. So if you're interested in that, let us know in the comments. But in the meantime, we're going to do a YouTube videos uh, in a series a little bit on each one too and talk about them so the first one i want to talk about usually i start with grounding i think grounding is so important and but you guys seen me talk a lot about grounding i even have a demo video on grounding we're going to do another one at some point where we're going to talk more about grounding so we're starting to catalog these videos so we can send them out to people that have questions so we're doing new ones for each one and we're going to keep updating them even as i get more information so but the first one i really want to do one on and and it's because i don't do enough about this one but we do a lot on it in the workshops and the seminars is expression Expression is such a powerful energy. And the reason I really want to do something on expression is because so many guys think that when I say be grounded, that means don't be expressive, be quiet, be calm, be the serious type. Don't, don't, don't be very loud. And that's not true. It's not what I'm saying at all. I mean, I'm, I'm right here expressing right now. You can be loud. You can be big if that's who you are naturally. Don't force it because that's what makes it weird. And if you have a resistance to expression, I would say actually force it a little bit and see how it feels after you do it a little bit. But the key here is, are you grounded when you're expressing? Do you feel a sense of connection to your legs, to the root? Like, like think of a tree. A tree has a nice tree trunk that has these deep roots that go into the ground and then spread out. And that's what makes the tree so stable. What a lot of guys do is when they go to express, they go to be a big energy in a bar, which you need to be a big energy in a loud bar or nightclub. You need to be a big energy sometimes. And it's fun to be a big energy. When they go to be a big energy, they lose their grounding. They become a dancing monkey, an entertainer. Their, their, their mind starts racing and they're just on a, on a little bit of a high from the rush of actually kind of leaving their body. And so they go out to bars and some guys do this every night. They, they state pump themselves into this rush and they call it a flow state. I don't call that a flow state. In a flow state, you're feeling every part of your body. You're, you're seeing everything, all the subtleties. Your gut brain is activated. You're feeling really good. I just did a video on that uh, around tension and flow state. So make sure to check that video out. If it either just came out or it's coming out soon. And so I want you to think about that for a minute, that expression is all part of feeling. So when I become a big energy, I need to be able to feel down into the ground. There's a sense when I'm grounding, like if you watch my grounding video, that I see into the ground. I feel into the ground. I relax so much in the back of my legs, in my glutes, in my ass, in the bottom of my feet, that there's a sense that I could feel the ground supporting me and it feels really good. Now, whether I'm actually seeing in the ground or not doesn't matter, it, it, whether it's just a feeling or a metaphor, but that's how my mind takes it, that's how my body takes it. There's a sense I feel all the way into the ground and back up. I don't force it, I don't use my imagination, I just look and it's there. And if I go out and talk to people and I flirt and I walk up to a pretty girl and I'm like, hey, what's up? And I start talking to her, I can talk for five, 10 minutes and then I can walk away and somebody will say, were you grounding? And I can look back and I can remember the feeling into the ground. It's not like it's, no, I can't remember if I was grounding or not. I don't know. Because that's usually a no. Because the feeling is so real to me that I don't forget it. Matter of fact, I do it more when I drop in with somebody I really like. I do it more when I'm enjoying somebody. I feel my body more, not less. I think less, feel more. Oftentimes, my, my, my biggest thinking happens when I'm alone. And I, and I take myself out that way and I get in front of a pretty girl and boom, that stops. Or a good friend and that stops. I do work on, on stopping it when I'm alone too. But the point I'm trying to make is that stopping allows me to move some of this energy from my head into my body, into more feeling. And the grounding is one of the first places. Now, this wasn't supposed to be a grounding video. It's supposed to be an expression video. So let's get to that. Now, if I'm going to be expressive, I'm expressing from my heart, from all this area here, from my throat, from my hands, from my upper body. There's a sense of communication to you. 
And so many students come into our workshops where we do a lot of embodiment work and they're numbed out through here. Maybe they're grounding. They're really solid masculine men, but there's a lot of numbness. There's one that's really bad. And, I'll, and, I'll, and it's a guy that comes in and he collapses in the chest and he numbs out the back of his spine by pushing his hips forward a little bit. And he just pulls back like this. And then I say, now connect with the girl in front of you. Hey, what's up? And then I say, be louder. Hi. And you see how suddenly when I, if I relax into this and I really drop down, there's a sense of numbness and I just walk through life like this. Hey, what's up, man? And my arms kind of want to go dead because there's no life in my upper torso. I'm literally, I don't know if you can see this. Hold on one sec. Some people walk around like this. And if you are, I want you to uh, post it in the video and tell us you are in the comments. Literally what happens is they kind of do this and they, the chest pops back. They sit here, they collapse and they kind of walk around like this. And then if you get learn to get back under your hips and stand up and open your chest again, do you see how that suddenly feels? Watch. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? And then I open my chest again. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? And suddenly I can feel more neurology wake up. And I think it has something to do with the spine waking up more and more nerve endings turning on. But there's a lot of stuff like this. That's just 1%. That's one thing. So learning to wake up the upper body, learning to feel the, with all the uh, the feeling parts of your body, like the insides, think, tap this. That's more vulnerable. That's why the outside is more protective. That's why this goes inside your body. Same with your rib cage, more vulnerable, the front of your body. And the back here is more protective because there's parts of your body that we consider masculine and feminine. The feminine are always the more feeling sensitive parts and the masculine are the more rugged, tough parts, okay? And so what I wanna to learn to do is feel both in balance. I wanna feel my heart through my back. I relax into my back and then I open my heart. It's like a satellite dish to me. And I'm like, hey, what's up? How you doing? And I, I connect through the heart or, hey, what's up? How you doing? Or I drop down into my turn on, but then still keep my heart open. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Um, I also wanna be able to feel here. That's the, this is where I hold a focus. I hold an idea in mind. Like I'm here to meet you. I'm here to talk to you. I mean, my mind is not wandering to what I'm gonna do tomorrow, what I'm gonna do later, to even a minute from now, me getting your phone number. It's on, do I like you right now? I'm still deciding if I like you, but there's something interesting, so I'm over here and I'm in the tension with you. Watch one of my tension videos if you don't understand tension. And then the throat. Can I relax into my voice so that I, she can feel my emotions through my voice? If this is, agrees with this, like, something interesting about her and I'm curious, I have appreciation and I have the intention, then the voice will start to match. And that's where expression comes from. And so many of you guys, you get so into the grounding and you numb out up here. Hi, my name's Brian. What, what's your name? Where are you from? Or you go into your head, you get grounded, but you're in your head. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I just want to say hi, my name's Brian. Or you get nervous. Hi, um, Hi, you know, what are you doing? I just want to say, hi, what's your name? Where are you from? And you're kind of half, you notice how I'm pulling back with this left shoulder? You're half in, you're half out. All this subcommunication says so much to the woman. If I walk up, I'm back here and I walk up and I'm like already apologizing and I'm nervous. I'm going to go up here. Hi, uh, my name is Brian. What's your name? Where are you from? And you see how the body goes rigid? Why is it doing that? Because I don't want to feel it. I'm coming out of it. Um, the other one is to go down, really grounded, but then numb out. And I shut down the heart, I close it down, I get heavy, and I walk up. Hi, uh, my name is Brian. How you doing? What's your name? And there's a seriousness to me, okay? Now, I don't know if I'm nailing these 100%. I'm doing the best I can because I've worked a lot to get these out of my system. But, uh, but if you really walk up and you feel in your body and it feels good, you just walk up. Hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. And you see the sense of expression on that? Or maybe I'm a little lower in my body, but I still have expression here. And there's a sense of, hi, my name's Brian. What's your name? Where are you from? You know, and I'm starting to talk and, and I don't care what I say. I'm just saying some random shit. I'm more concerned with the vibration, the tone I'm creating or the feeling I'm creating. Notice I talk with my hands. A lot of guys don't talk with their hands. And I, I express with my chest and I open in the throat and I don't talk to you pulled back like this the whole time, which so many, almost everybody does. It's like, hi, what, what's up? How you doing? This is since I'm pulled into my back. And these little things matter. They matter so much. So I want to encourage you to start practicing 
expression. And then if you lose track of what your legs feel like, go back to practicing your legs. Go back and forth, actually. Go watch my video, one of my videos on grounding. Look up grounding. And there's a video in there where I actually teach grounding, some basic principles, just really basic. And then start to practice. Go out and, and talk loudly with your friends. Do some exercises where you practice expressing. Look at your friend and see if you can feel your legs while you're talking loudly. See if you can walk up to people and be bold while feeling your legs and say, hey, what's up? How you doing? And see if you can feel that, that tingle in your heart or even sadness. I mean, here's the funny part. A lot of you guys are numbing out in the chest, pulling back because you got sadness in there because you got some hurt in there. And instead of showing the hurt and getting over it, learning to get through it, you actually just numb out so that nobody can see because you don't want to feel vulnerable. So if you practice just walking up and up, I'm sad. They say I'm sad today. I'm feeling a little heavy. Let's see if I can get into some sadness. And if I go down and I walk up and I'm in my sadness, but I own it, then that can be okay too, you know? And I can say, hi, what's your name? And there's a sense that I'm heavier now, but I'm not controlled by it. And that's where I can grow and learn. And she says, hey, what's going on in your life? You can say, yeah, I'm just a little sad right now. Something happened, but I can handle it. That makes you sexy as a man. Now, I kind of smiled when I was sad because I didn't fully get into it. It'd take me a little bit to get fully get into it. I used to be able to drop into this stuff so easy. I guess it's a sign that I'm cleaning a lot of it out of my body because it's getting harder and harder for me just to drop into it like I used to. Sucks for demos, but I'll practice it some more for you guys. So that's the basic idea. Start practicing feeling these parts of your body. Even if you just meditate on your heart for a little bit and practice feeling the room through your chest. I've done that and it works spectacularly well for me. I'll walk around in the streets, practice feeling things with my chest. I'll practice holding, like I'll look at a tree and I'll hold the focus of the tree and feel it with my heart. And then I'll look at a, something in the distance and I'll do the same thing. Then I'll look at a person, I'll feel each person. How does each person make me feel? You know, how do I let them make me feel? How do I feel when I look at them? And maybe a hot girl goes by and you feel the, the heart want to do this. Maybe a big muscular guy walks by and your heart does this. Or maybe somebody looks sweet goes by and your heart relaxes. Or somebody with a puppy and you see the puppy and you see it open. Notice the difference because all of that is felt by other people on a subtle level. And that subtle level builds up the more you talk to people. So I want to encourage you to go out and just explore being expressive. One exercise I used to do I think it's great when guys were too quiet was we would have them walk down a busy street that was real, like a, a mall street, an open air mall. And there was a big, the, the street itself had all these vendors, but then there was a sidewalk on the either side and it was, it was fairly wide and have them stand, I don't know, 20 feet apart. I don't even know. I'm bad with these distances, 10, 20, quite a ways at the part where they have to almost yell and then walk down the street and have a conversation very loud, expressive with their hands to each other, communicating, feeling the ground and then talking about it. And then talking like when somebody gets in their way, they just yell around them. They look around, they keep talking and they're being seen by everybody and getting comfortable being expressive. It's a great exercise. And then at the end you talk. How did you feel? Could you feel your chest? Could you feel your legs? Could you relax at all? Were you nervous? And you get really brutally honest, radically honest about how it felt. Then you do it again and you keep doing this. And uh, just notice how it makes you feel. You get back and you do it again. Maybe you do this once, twice a week, three times a week. This is just one example of an exercise. Then other things you can do to practice expression and then talking like when somebody gets in their way, they just yell around them, they look around, they keep talking and they're being seen by everybody and getting comfortable being expressive. It's a great exercise. And then at the end you talk, how did you feel? Could you feel your chest? Could you feel your legs? Could you relax at all? Were you nervous? And you get really brutally honest, radically honest about how it felt. Then you do it again and you keep doing this. And uh, just notice how it makes you feel. You get back and you do it again. Maybe you do this once, twice a week, three times a week. This is just one example of an exercise. Then other things you can do to practice expression is dancing in the street, dancing and saying hi to people, doing our highs, you know, where you walk out and just say hi to 50, 25, 50, 100 people in a day. I've literally gone out and I'll just say hi to 100 people in about a half hour, just walking down the street. Hey, how you doing? And I want everybody to see me. But the key is, can I feel my body? Can I relax? Are at least 60% of the people saying hi back, smiling or nodding? Because if they're not, I'm probably closed off. Deeper with these. Hopefully you got value out of this. If you got any questions, or you got any comments, make sure to comment in the video. I love doing these videos for you. I want to do a lot more of them. So the more you guys comment, the more you guys like, the 
to the more I know that this material is really going out and helping people. So make sure to do that. Also make sure to share. If you know anybody that needs this, share, let them know that it's out there. Subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification. So hopefully you enjoyed the video again, like I said. And uh, as always, remember, only the confident really live. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.